Hey everyone, this is Jay Clark with Fargo 3D Printing. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your Replicator 2 or Replicator 2X X-axis belt. The tools that will be required for this are a 5mm hex key, a 2.5mm hex key, grease, and the belt. After turning off and unplugging the machine, you will remove the right side panel. Next, remove the left side panel. This will allow for easier access to the pulley and x-axis motor. After removing the side panels, we'll remove the extruder assembly. Remove the blower duct. Sometimes this will just pop right out. Other times you may have to hinge it to the side. Loosen and remove the two set screws holding the extruder to the carriage. Now lift the extruder assembly up and out, set it aside. We'll now move to the right side of the machine. Turn the machine around so the right axis motor screws are facing you. Remove all four screws and don't lose the small washers. Once all the screws and washers are removed, the motor will relax. A small metal pin must be removed to free the wire assembly. This simply pops out. Take the wires out of the slot and unplug the motor. Now you can remove the motor from the right axis wing. Here you see the screws with their washers and the metal pin. On the other end of the belt, there will be a plastic idler pulley with a metal rod going through it. Pull that out. Removing the carriage will be next. Grasp the front edge of the carriage with your fingers and pull up. You'll hear a firm click. Swing the carriage up as shown. Maneuver the belt so both sides become perpendicular to the carriage. Put your finger underneath the folded belt and push up. It should slide out. To reseat the new belt, fold the belt as shown, then slide it into position. Push the loose belt through the x-axis rails into the build volume of the printer. Swing the carriage back over onto the bushings. Make sure they are lined in their proper slots before pressing down to secure. You'll hear a click. Moving to the left side of the printer, we'll grease the y-axis secondary prior to reinstalling the idler pulley. A healthy amount of grease ensures that the plastic won't rub on the metal rod. Grab the idler pulley and loop the belt over it. When installing, the thicker part of the idler pulley needs to be facing the front of the machine. Going to the right side of the machine, position the printer so you are behind it, facing the motor mount screws on the right axis wing as shown. Orientate the motor so its connector is facing down and loop the belt onto its drive gear, push into position. While pushing on the motor, you should feel the belt become taut. Continue putting pressure onto the motor while you insert the washered screws. Tighten the left side first so the belt does not become loose. Now be sure the screws are aligned properly before tightening as they can become stripped very, very easily. Seat the white motor cable back into its connector as shown. Loop the two cable sets back into their slot and secure with the metal pin. There will not be a clicking noise so do not push too far in as this could damage the wires. Proper insertion distance is so that the metal pin is flush to the outside surface of the slot. Replace the extruder assembly back onto the carriage. Secure with its two set screws. Also, replace the blower duct and the side panels to the machine. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, put those in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, as well as like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, and uh, don't want you to miss out on that. For Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jake Clark.